What's poppin' PR squad? Today is a little different video. Right now, I am on my way to the hospital because some of y'all scared me in the comments. I mean, I was like, you need to go to the ER. If y'all don't know, I got this little scar on my leg and I tried to treat it for some days and it seemed like it's just getting worse. They say it's getting better, but I feel like it's getting worse because it started growing like little pimples around the scar and it started getting bigger. It's not supposed to get bigger. A scar is not supposed to just grow and grow and grow. So I'm trying to figure out if it's an infection. Like it's too much stuff going on in the world to not know what's going on with your body. So I'm gonna go to the hospital. My baby did not want me to go to the hospital. She was like, you gonna get better, you okay? But no, for my safety, for my mental, cause I'm tired of stressing about this. I wanna go see what's wrong with my body. Feel like it's an infection. Hopefully it's not. It keep pussing up every time I put something on it and it's not supposed to do that. Right now, baby is taking me to the hospital. Well, she she look got good. Me Her curls is popping. She done got me y'all. I honestly felt like she should have, you know, waited, you know, a little bit longer. She I'm gonna really... give y'all an update on my, my scar and y'all tell me should I have waited or not. Like, the more you I wait. I feel like she should have waited. It's nothing big for her to be saying the more you wait. Like, yo, you don't have no big, you know, big issue going on to be like the more you wait. That's just how I personally feel. The scar is actually healing up from what I've seen. I've seen it since day one. But, um, she, like I told y'all, and I've told y'all this plenty of times, she's just very extra, you know? Like, when it comes to little things, she try to make it big. Like, her mind is very negative when something is, like, so small as wrong with her. She think the worst of the worst. You feel me? Normally, I'm right about shit, but I'm going on and take them and let her see what's up, you know? I just feel like this is really a waste of time. The people ain't gonna give her nothing but a Benadryl and, 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 <laughs> and prescribe antibiotics. That's what we're really driving her for, but I guess whatever's gonna make her happy, I gotta I need uh, my head space. Like, I need, like, a clear space. Like, nobody can't tell. You can't tell me what's going on with me. I can't tell me what's going on with me. Only a doctor can. You're not a doctor. So, I need to see a doctor. I need to see a specialist. Too. Like, that's just me. Like I said, we're going to just tell. Matter of fact, we're actually pulling up. Yeah, we're specific. pulling up to the hospital right now. Like, we're about to drive in. The like, we're literally pulling in. Or I'm going to go over there because we went over yeah. there last time. So yeah, we about to see what's up with me. I'm gonna give y'all update. I'm gonna give y'all update on how to cut looks. It's not cut like it was a scab and it turned worse. Like it got big. People, my mom even said it's getting better, but I feel like it's not. It's not supposed to be white little pimples around the scar. It's gonna get better. Like literally, I done had bruises and stuff and and, and scars and shit on me and it have bumps around it. My it thing about away. it is she just don't want to let it take its course. My like, thing about it is it to take its course. Like recently y'all know we had uh, a huge sinus infection. Yes, we was very sick. I don't think I've ever been that sick in my me. matter of fact I ain't no thing. I did, I did. I, I, I know have. it ain't even no thing for me. I've never been that sick in my life. Let me be specific. And it didn't feel good. The only thing it had to do, we thought that we was damn near out. You know, I just felt like my body was just so sore. Um, my voice had left everything, and it so, had to take its course. Her in head, was her it in. just had to take its course. You gotta, you know, just uplift your body. You know what I'm saying? Like I told Free, only thing you gotta do is keep the, keep the, um. But keep the damn shit on it. The shit should be putting on it. Whatever the fuck it's called. Just keep that on it and keep the band-aid on it. You but good. normally a scar will heal itself and Dang, turn you hard. ain't even give it two it's weeks. Not, bro, a scar don't heal for oh no, two weeks. My scars, some of my scars. They be scars up. take time to heal. Real shit. I've had a bunch of scars in my life. You gotta let them take their time. They're not gonna leave in a week. I'm how you know, how you know bacteria Just because the, the scar blood, didn't, no nothing. She want the scar to do this and be gone. It's not gonna happen like that. The scar is gonna have to sit there for some time. Even if you healed already, the scar is still gonna be there. Shut up my scar. Shut up my scar and get their opinion on my scar. Bro, like she trying to make something like she got monkey pox. Her symptoms don't match that. I do but, not have no monkey No, you don't see her. Like monkey pox. She done literally prescribed herself for so many different diagnoses. And it's just annoying, bro. It's I feel like your health is them. very important. Like, You're not unhealthy. You have a scar on your leg that is healing, and you don't want to wait till it's finished. Damn. I just want to see what the doctors say and get it over with. So I, got I just feel mind. like we got a lot of stuff going on right now. I have been stressing a lot lately up over this scar, so I just need to clear my mind on if I'm good or I'm not. That's all I need and to I'm know. And I'm just here 
to follow along. To support me. To support Just your fiance. Just for them to give her some Benadryl. I'm here to stay by her side. <laughs> Benadryl are up. And I'm just gonna eat it, you know. But we here, y'all. So we need to actually get out of this car. I don't want to waste my whole day here, you know. Honestly, I don't want to be here all day. You get what I'm saying? Like I really have stuff to do. Right? Y'all just stay tuned. Let's just see what the doctors say, y'all. Y'all know I can't record in a hospital, so I'm gonna try to get a little footage, a little something a little of what footages. they say, you know. But stay tuned, y'all. Few moments later. All right, y'all. So I just got back from the hospital. Let me show y'all the thing. I didn't get to see a nurse. Can you stop? <laughs> I keep trying to push myself up. I didn't. I didn't get to see a nurse or a doctor. Like literally, they they had brought me to the back and they had checked my blood temperature. They had checked everything. Then I went back there and they left me in there for like an hour. They left me in the waiting room for an hour and I'm like, bro, like they calling everybody else's name before that was here after me. But they ain't called me yet, so they like, bro, let's just go because they not gonna call your name for that baby ass scar. Like you have a baby scar. Like all they gonna do you, all they gonna do is give you a paper saying you need to go pick up some antibiotics and they're gonna clean it for you. That's it. And everybody was just downplaying the scar. And I'm like, bro, like it's getting big. Like can't y'all see? But yeah, I just left. I just walked out because I felt like I was getting tried. I done wasted my whole day. I literally been at the hospital since 1250 something. It is now, what time it is day? Damn near four o'clock. It is damn near four o'clock. So yeah, they trapped me basically. And you know, I'm just not gonna go to the hospital unless it's a life, life and death situation or it's affecting my everyday routine because this is a, was a waste of my time. I could have been making money. I could have been making bread. I could have been doing something else rather than just sitting in these people's hospital and they're playing with me. Like, don't play with me. What you need, man? Put me in, coach. <laughs> they don't want to know what the fuck I gotta say. What you gotta say? Put me in, coach. So let me get this, let me get this shit started. First of all, let's get down to it. What? What you gotta say? Days after days after days, I've been telling my fiance, baby, I need the antibiotic. You scratch it on it, so you infected it by scratching it. Only thing they're gonna give you is antibiotics. I've been mentioning this to her plenty of times, correct? Yes. So nothing that I ever says ever matters. For some reason, when it comes to her health, I'm the asshole. I don't want to hear shit you got to say. I said, I said, I said, I said, babe. Just keep it clean. You get what I'm saying? If you're cleaning it, you stand on top of cleaning it, that scar is gonna heal up. Scars don't take some people's scars literally take years to heal. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Like some scars take longer than others to heal. And that's what I told my baby. I gotta park for this shit. Let me park. That's what I told my baby. I said, baby, sometimes the scars gonna take their time to really heal, you know? So she never listened to me. My some of my Can I finish? My you had to, you had to go. You had to go, it's my go at it now. Like I was saying, I'm like, yo. So every day she said, babe, it's getting worse. I'm like, babe, the only thing that you can say is that the bumps is on a round, a round of it, but you need antibiotics. When you take the thing, when you take the antibiotics, the infection is going to go away. The heal is going to, the, 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 the scar is going to heal. Scars don't just stay scars forever. They heal. You feel me? Long as you take the antibiotics, you good. I came to my conclusion when I woke up this morning, my baby, she said, um, we're going to the hospital. I said, uh, babe, I don't really want to go to the hospital. You know what I'm saying? The thing going to do is get the antibiotics. You know what I'm saying? We ain't got to do that today. So she was, she insisted that we go. She did her tantrum. She had an art. She had an attitude. Blah blah. blah. So I'm like, I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go. I just need her to see it for herself that these people ain't gonna do shit but give us a paper that's. It's not even antibiotics. They're not gonna give you the antibiotics. Hospitals do not just, huh? Antibiotics? No. They give you a prescription so you can go pay and pick it up. You get what I'm saying? So I'm like, babe, I don't really want to do that today. You know, I don't really want to just go to the hospital so you get this paper. You know, we can do, we can do that anytime. And I do know infections can get worse. You know what I'm saying? That is, but hers Thank is you. not. This is why you know when an infection is worse. More and more of the infection comes out. You get what I'm saying? That's when you know it's worse. That My infection, man, it's been coming out. Yellow pus been coming out, babe. It came out more one day than it did the rest of the days that it's been. It has gotten better with the infection part. I'm going to honestly say that. Pre just don't, she just, I don't know why she just, She's just very negative when it comes to her body. Like, she thinks the worst of the worst on herself. And I tell her, like, baby, that's not your situation. She would Google, Google, Google. When I tell y'all, 
to the point I have to literally take her phone. Like, it's really sad. I really think she have a problem. Because I'd be like, like, even after I tell her something, I, I would see her turn. She would turn her brightness down, and this is her. <laughs> babe, I need to go to the hospital. I'd be like, babe, you good? You know, just keep it clean. This be her. Okay. Give it two minutes. And babe, then, I really need to go to the hospital. No, babe, and bad. then, after watching that Ken stuff, that he had a bacterial, a bac a bacterial infection. You don't have you that. You know, I'm just saying, like, stuff could happen. That's why I'm always going to go to the hospital about my body, because this could happen, and I could wait till the last minute, and then something worse can occur, like... But I'm just gonna listen Why to you. Are you thinking the worst and I'm gonna worst take to some antibi anyway. antibiotics. Do you really think that you're just a sick fuck walking around? Like real shit. No. Why are you thinking the worst for yourself? That scar is going to go away. You don't have a huge problem. No matter what people on the internet is saying, these people don't fucking know you. I haven't seen it in person. It's gonna heal. Every day she's asking me, did it heal? I'm like, babe, I'm not gonna lie. It don't look worse than yesterday. Babe, but look, another bump added right there. More bumps is added right there. Okay, it's an infection. Some of the pus is touching on it, so it's making it, you know, it's, it's bumping it up. Do you wanna show you're them? Gonna take the, you're, gonna, you're gonna take the antibiotics. Bro, my mama literally be having antibiotics. Do you wanna show them? On business, but my mama keep antibiotics and shit, so I could just get pretty antibiotics. Like, that's nothing that's Do you wanna show them? I can. It's very itchy too. I need some Benadryl too, babe. Y'all coming down below. How side do y'all understand? Like she's just very dramatic. Look, show them. Show them. How is that healing? Show them. Bring it closer. Bring it all the way closer. Y'all see that? Look at that. It looks bigger, babe. It looks like it's healing. You know what it's about to start turning dark. And then you know what it's gonna be, that little pilly thing, and then it's gonna peel off. That little the little you know how your your skin, like when your skin Basically, when your meat show and then like it gets scaly, it's gonna start being that. When it start being scaly, that's the form of it's about to heal. Literally, that scar is about to heal. Only thing they need right now is some antibiotics. So the bumps around it don't mean shit. No, the bumps around it don't mean shit. You have infection touching it. You need antibiotics, and a doctor was literally about to tell you that. We went way in there, y'all. We drove way there for the people to literally pay no attention to her. When she said it, the lady was like, "Oh, you just need some antibiotics," and then. The other lady, she told the other lady, it was like, okay, good. We sat in the room and them people never called her name. We sat there and we sat there and we sat there. You know why? Because it's real people in this world that really have real shit going on. Some people got the monkey pops. Some people got different shit. Like, literally life life and death shit going on right now. For real. And them people was really trying to get the people that really have problems with out the way. Pre was in that bitch bullshit. I'm not going to lie to you. She was in a plan, talking, having the time of her life. Me and her was in a vibe. I'm not going to lie to y'all. She's good. Y'all, like, at the end of the day, it's my body. And, you know, I always want to make sure I'm straight before anything. So, of course, like, and then if I see something don't look right, of course, it's going to make me go to the hospital and say, what is this? I never seen a scar. Matter of fact, I should show y'all a scar that I had. I never seen a scar grow little bumps around it. I had never seen that. Pre was, scars, scratching on yeah. that. Pre was scratching on that scar and it actually made the scar infected because she was scratching and irritating on it because it was itchy so she played a part in making the scar on her leg get worse that scar and i'm the reason why i'm breaking this down because i don't want y'all to think that she woke up and it just happened no it was not like that it was levels to her making it worse i want to honestly say that but towards towards now she has been cleaning it and shit you get what i'm saying and it's gonna heal she just have to give it time no it's not gonna heal in a few days it's probably going to take three weeks for that to heal to how she wanted to look like a regular piece of skin. I'm going to be honest with you. Man, that's okay. You know what I mean? Anyways, y'all, that's the update on me. I'm just going to wait and wait over time. And just wait and wait and continue tell them, to wait. Tell them how you feel about sitting there in the, the hospital not taking your problem in serious. I felt like that was wrong because, first of all, I'm paying y'all. Like... I'm paying y'all. Like, come on. Like, y'all need to take me serious. Like, I know y'all got other people that's more important. But, like, I don't know. I just feel like, God forbid, my situation could have got worse. But, thank God it's not I worse. It's not, I'm sorry, it's not I'm affecting. Never, like, I'm not affecting. talk that into existence on you. It's For not. Real, people could really die from shit like that. I'm going to be honest. A part of me want to laugh at the fact that they didn't call her name because I told her before we went there. 
but that was really kind of fucked up and it really kind of pissed me off to the point i just want to go home like yeah, i ain't got a shit like i don't have time for that for real you have to tell them all that no, so yeah, we literally walked out, but I'm gonna be okay. Y'all. I wasted my whole morning, damn near. That's I'm gonna keep treating it, you know. She's gonna continuously treat it though. Yeah, I'm fact, keep and we're gonna get it. some antibiotics without them even telling us you need some antibiotics. We're gonna get that. Okay, we're gonna get some antibiotics, and I'm gonna be all right, y'all. But you know, I just wanted to clear from my head, like, okay, you're good, precious, because I'm an overthinker. But yes, that's the video for today, y'all. I enjoyed it. Comment down below your thoughts on the video. Comment down below if y'all on fruit style or y'all on my side. We never about even it. got a chance to get to the back. Is what I'm trying to tell y'all. Like, I put on this big ass jacket in the hot, and it's hot as hell outside. Just because I'm thinking I'm gonna be sitting in the hospital, just so we're not even get to the back. Like. And a part of me want to say, you know, babe, let's get them a whole other hour. You understand? Know like, I want to say, give But who about to be waiting hours and hours for a Come scar? Come on, bro. Like, who finna just be waiting for that scar for, like, hours after hours? Like, that shit was just getting. And we kept, then we, then we kept, we was like, well, okay, let's get them five more minutes. If, or let's get them really another five itchy, minutes. Yeah, it's really itchy, though. It's really itchy, like, to the point where I need some Benadryl. Like, it's itchy. But, <sighs> nothing's wrong with me, y'all. Uh, Nothing's wrong with me. I'm not even gonna speak that to existence. And y'all stop being in the conversation diagnosing her with all this crazy shit. Somebody said well, she got monkey pox. Why would y'all say that? And then I searched monkey pox so they don't even look shit like a scar. Like, come on, bro. Stop playing like that. Yeah, like don't be on down in the comments. And then they just, I cuss they, 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 they naming different shit that they feel like you have. Like, stop diagnosing. Yeah, somebody. I had somebody said Put something about sickness. a staph infection. I live like, in a staph infection. I said, whoa, I could die from that. But until next time, y'all, until the next video, Lil Pre-Pre is out. Until next time, y'all. Peace. Peace.